Hi everyone, welcome to Before the Fork, the 28 day experience. This is day four, uh, evening message. And uh, oh, here come the dogs, the dogs are joining us. So um, how did you do it? How, did, how was your day? How'd it go? I hope everyone was wildly successful on the first day of phase two. This is when you launched into the 8020 Living Program. So I hope that, that went really well for everyone. Hi, Dina. Glad to have you here. Uh, what I wanted to talk to y'all about tonight is um, the twilight hours of dieting. We are getting ready to walk into the final hours of the day. Hi, Tammy. And these final hours of your day could be incredibly challenging. You know, as we move through our day, we have a lot of distractions, a lot of things that can um, unintentionally keep us away from snacks and, and things that can sabotage. But these twilight hours, the hours from six until bedtime, that's when we become incredibly vulnerable to slip ups and mistakes. So I want to just equip you with a couple of tools to help you in these twilight hours. And I think one of the most valuable tools here is to understand why you are so susceptible in the evening to diet sabotage. Uh, first of all, when we consume carbohydrates, uh, simple carbo carbohydrates, uh, so, so things um, that, are, that are low on the glycemic index so that when you consume them, they break into sugars really fast. Well, they also release chemicals in our brain that induce um, a very calming effect. So when we're wanting to wrap up our day, it is a, it's a soothing thing that we do. We go to carbohydrates, these simple carbohydrates, because they're going to release the hormones that put us in a nice relaxed state. So your bowl of ice cream at night or your piece of cake or your couple of cookies and a glass of milk, all of those induce a calming effect in the body. So we become very addicted to that wind down. So hi, Kim. So it could be a glass of wine. It could be a couple of cookies, glass of milk. But anyway, um, they release the hormones that, that start to self-soothe us. So we're going to work on retraining um, that pattern so that we can release the same hormones that put us into a nice calming state without um, the unnecessary carbohydrates. So I also want to tell you a little bit about your fuel sources. So you have three macronutrients. That's it. Everything you eat, everything that you can see falls into one of three categories. Carbohydrate, protein, healthy fat. There are no other sources of nutrition out there than those three. So you're always working with these three in any way, shape, or form when you're consuming any kind of food. Your carbohydrates are your fuel. They're your gas. They're what make your body go and move and do and, and think and everything that your body does. The proteins are your building blocks. So they, they assist you when you're repairing muscle tissue, when you're growing muscle tissue. Your hair is a protein. Your fingernails are a protein. So everything that, that replenishes your body and keeps your body uh, functioning and operating properly. So if you've injured your leg or you've just had surgery and, you know, they say get your rest, get your rest, because your healing only takes place during rest. So when your body has actually shut down, you've gone into your sleep state, that's when the protein has an opportunity to go in and start repairing whatever is damaged. Outside, you don't repair during your waking hours. You only repair during your sleep. Your fat is the transport. So it makes everything move through your body more efficiently, more effectively. It's just, it's part of a very healthy delivery system, healthy fats, not toxic fats, but your healthy fats, your avocados, your, um, your olive oils, things that just the good healthy fats. So knowing that, knowing that your carbohydrate is your fuel, proteins are, proteins are your healing, your fats are your delivery method, you want to kind of think of it this way. You need the energy in the beginning of your day. 
So although I really strongly advise that you combine all three macronutrients at each meal, meaning that you always have protein, carbohydrates, and fats, and you consume them together, the ratios of those three can shift a little bit through your day. So your morning can be a little more carbohydrate heavy. You can have your fat and you can pull back on your protein a little bit. So your plate may be, um, 50% carbohydrate, 20% protein in the balance, or 20% fat in the balance in your proteins, okay? As you move through your day, your plate's gonna start to shift so that when you have your final meal, you're at 20% carbohydrate. And then the balance of that, that 80% is 40% protein or 50% protein and 30% fat. Does that make sense to you? You need that protein while you sleep so it can heal and repair your body while you're sleeping. You don't need the energy of the carbohydrate. So try to leave your carbohydrates. If you want fruits, consume your fruits, wane them off about two o'clock. Have your fruits in the morning. Your body needs the energy. Uh, your mind needs the energy. Uh, and as you shift through your day, move on over into a heavier protein, less carbohydrate, and a little and, and the healthy fat in there with your protein. So do y'all have any questions about that? Is it making sense to you? That's a little bit of an advanced dieting technique, um, but it is super, super effective. So don't get too caught up on ratios. We'll get more into ratios a little bit later when you're getting more solid in your new habits, but just for now, recognize that that your carbohydrates um, are really need to start being waned off as you move through your day, so that you end your night on good, uh, healthy proteins. Okay, so these twilight hours that we were talking about, they're in the um, in the folder. Let me go over here to the folder. Uh, in the folder, we have tips, tools, and techniques. Let me see where that is. Um, I'm sorry, I should have had this pulled up for y'all. Um, okay, it, and the, the title of this particular handout is Before the Fork underscore State of Being Practices PDF. Okay, I should probably, um, oh shoot, I've had my computer open too long. Anyway, it's a whole list of different skill sets that you can use when you're feeling exceptionally vulnerable. And let me tell you one that is very helpful at night. Get a timer, get your watch, get a kitchen timer, use your phone. And when you're having an overwhelming urge to indulge in the evening and you're really trying to fight that urge, I want you to set a 10 minute timer. I don't want you to tell yourself, I can't have that. I want you to tell yourself, I'm going to revisit that urge in 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, set your timer at the end of that 10 minutes. If the urge is still really strong, then I want you to tell yourself again, okay, I'm gonna give myself another 10 minutes. Set your timer again, give yourself another 10 minutes. At the end of that 10 minutes, if, excuse me, if the urge is still really strong, then I want you to make a conscious decision of whether or not you want to go ahead and break the covenant with yourself or not. Okay, do that from a conscious perspective. But if you allowed yourself two 10 minute pauses, I can guarantee with 99.9% .9 accuracy, if you allow those two 10 minute pauses and you come back and revisit it, your big sister will take charge of your little sister and you'll be able to make the decision that serves you. A 10 minute pause is so, so powerful. It allows your impulse to, to be there, to be recognized, to be valued for what it is, uh, and then to be redirected through your prefrontal cortex. So it's an incredibly powerful technique that will give you an edge over your impulses. It's kind of like um, when you did not, if you were to go into that with, I can't have it, no, and, and be a very solid no with yourself, uh, it's almost like in any type of the martial arts, when you push something away, the natural instinct of just the way that the world works, you push 
And when you push that thought away, it may go away for a mild second and then it's going to come back with the ferocity. It's going to come back more ferocious. So when we push away from anything, it comes back at us. So we don't want to push it away. We want to pause it. And as we're pausing it, it settles down and it, it begins that the momentum of that impulse begins to slow down. So 10 minute pause, one of your most valuable tools, the tool that will allow big sis to boss around little sis from a loving, loving perspective. So that's what I'm going to leave y'all with tonight. Well done. Everyone that has made it this far in today. Well done. I'm so pleased for you. I've had a great day. Um, I'll tell you a couple of my missteps. I uh, did not eat enough today. I uh, went and got Kelly's room all tidied up. My girlfriend got her room all tidied up, cleaned the house, went to the airport. By the time I'm coming back home, it's four o'clock and I had had only a little bit of Greek yogurt this morning. And that's not a good idea. That's not, I was starving by the time I got her and back, back in the car and we went to a sushi house in, I chose that restaurant for a specific reason. I knew exactly what I could order off the menu that would fall within the healthy parameters of my 80%. So I had wonderful island pokey and a green salad and it was delicious and it was perfect. Had seltzer water with lime. Uh, Kelly's not a, a big alcohol drinker, so that's not, a, that's not a problem that we faced. Okay, so, um, but, if I wouldn't have had the restaurant in place, known what I was going to order, that would have been the perfect re recipe right there for a little bit of a disaster. But I was able to, to thwart it off because I've been doing this for a very, very long time. So I've got a pretty well equipped toolbox of what I need to, to reach into. So you guys, please don't forget your journal tonight. Uh, tonight, you should have several event stumble tools. You should have several of these where you, you did something that you maybe didn't want to do. I want you to write the event down, which means set the stage. What, what, what were the um, surrounding effects that, that made the stumble possible? What was the actual stumble? And then what tool are you going to put in place next time that should happen? So I want you to have start collecting these. Your toolbox is super, super unique to you. I can give you tools that help me, but as we progress through this, you're going to start sharing tools with the group that helped you that I may never even have thought of. So this is where we become a community and we start supporting each other and, and sharing our tools um, so that others can better equip their own toolbox, but it's your toolbox. Um, I want you to list three emotional victories. Remember these emotional victories are super important. And I had a couple emotional victories today and my emotional victories consist of having certain situations that are prevalent in my life right now that I'm, I'm choosing to find the blessing and I'm looking and my focus is where's the blessing. There's a blessing here. I know there's a blessing here. Where's the blessing? So I'm looking through a box of Cracker Jacks and I'm looking for the blessing because I know it's there. So the situation has no power over me because I'm choosing to search for the blessing in the circumstance. And there's always a blessing in the circumstance. Then of course, your nutrition, your fitness, check, check. Did you do those? Are you on point? Um, the support, make sure you're, you're on, on page with your support system. And um, remember about those two suitcases. Set that suitcase down tonight. Never, ever, ever pick it up again. The only thing you want to take with you into tomorrow are the tools that you helped build today. Okay, guys, that's it. I'm going to wrap up. I knew I wouldn't be able to get Kelly in here, at least not for this video, but I promise you I'm going to get her in here for one or two of them. I love you all so very much, and I'm behind you 150%, and I'm cheering you on. I'm your biggest cheerleader. I want each and every one of you to feel your transformation happening from your toes all the way up through the top of your head. At the end of these 28 days, I don't want you to be the same person that went into this. I want you to be um, 
starting to to recognize yourself as that desired self that you've painted so vividly in your mind so good night tammy michael ann good night and uh, you will see kelly don't you worry i'm going to pull her in here and i will talk to y'all tomorrow morning okay everyone have a wonderful night remember these are the hours uh, that make the difference. So stay the course, even if that means going to bed an hour or two hours early, go read a book, take a warm bath, um, do something, indulge yourself, paint your toenails, paint your fingernails, um, call someone on the phone that you haven't talked to in a long time, anything to occupy these hours more healthfully so that you don't fall off track. Okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.